Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. So today we're going to be taking a look at Paint 3D. So this is a new paint made by Microsoft. So as you can see I've got it launched up on my screen at the moment. So we've got a get started. So we're just going to click on that now and just see what it says here. So Steampunk style. Choose a Steampunk model. So we can choose a model now. So choose a Steampunk model. Click on Remix in Paint 3D to open, click on the People icon above, pick other models to create a steampunk scene. Publish to Remix3D.com. So choose your model. So we're going to go ahead and select that. And as you can see, it's opened up our web browser. So, okay, that's pretty cool. So we've got a lot of models here by the looks of things. So I'm assuming you can press this little plus sign. And it will add it to okay so we need to sign up so if I just go sign up okay so create your profile so I'm just gonna go with anything oh and add a nickname so I can't actually see anything there it's not working okay so that's a good start it's not actually letting me select anything there oh there we go all right, so that'd do. Right, so I've pressed go now, and we have gone to, we've got to create a board, so let's just call this test, and go add, and go add. Right, so if we go back to our um, paint 3D, and choose your model, we already did that, so let's just quit off that now. So this is Paint 3D and over here we can save, publish to Remix 3D. Okay, so you need to actually click on the character and then you need to go Remix in Paint 3D and you can then press open. So to download this you need to sign in first, so I'm just going to go ahead and sign in. Cool, so once you've signed in, as you can see we now have this little model and wow. That is pretty cool. Can we zoom in on that? Yes, we can down here. That That is very cool. So you can literally just like rotate this model. That is awesome. I must admit that is very, very cool, especially for a Microsoft program anyway. I'm impressed with that. Oh, that's cool. So you can also zoom out and place it whereabouts you want on your board. So that is um, inserting a model. So if we just scroll out now and select away from it. So we've got a little marker here. So let's just see what this does. So let's just go CS. And can we actually turn that into 3D at all? So if I select that. Oh. Okay. So let's go like that. Okay. So we can rotate it that way. Any chance that we can rotate it? Any? Oh, make 3D. Okay. So. Oh, wow. That is cool. That's very, very cool. So there you go. So there's a bit of text that we can like turn around and make 3D and place wherever we want. So that's obviously now in front of this little dude here. So if I was to go... 3D objects. Oh, so we got a little man. Ah, wicked. I'm loving this. This is very cool. So we've got a little 3D man there. How do we change into. There we go. View in 3D. So look at that. So as you can see, there's our little background, our white space, and all these images, they're away from the board. So. Yeah, they're away from our workspace. And that is Paint 3D. That, that is very cool. I didn't expect it to be anything like this, to be honest. I must admit. I mean, that is really cool. So, what else have we got? We got fish. Hey, there we go. We put in our little fish there. We can move him really far away from our whiteboard. So, now, if we go back into our 3D mode, as you can see, our fish is really far away from our workspace so there he is there that is absolutely stunning that i can't believe microsoft have actually made this so what's this so we got stickers 
So you can apply stickers to a 3D object. So let's go ahead and see what we can do here. So I've got, let's, um, yeah, let's apply some eyes to our, to our fish. So if I go like that, rotate it like that a tad. There we go. That is a pretty big eye for him. Oh, no. What happened to his eye? Has it disappeared or is it on the other side? Okay, so his eyes disappeared. Oh, you can hold the right mouse mouse button to actually move around like that as well. And scrolly wheel to go up and down. And then obviously we can zoom in and out. So you do, you do have a lot of control with the keys as well. So that's always handy. So that is um, Paint 3D. So I hope you enjoyed this little um, video on Paint 3D. If you did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. And also, before you subscribe or leave this video, I have now just created a computer sluggish plus channel and I will be doing a lot of gameplay benchmark videos on that channel so we'll be trying out old hardware and seeing how well that hardware competes on new games so yeah if you want to get a nice decent budget PC then subscribe to that channel because we will be looking at a lot of budget PCs so that's all um see you all later